Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today is another test of antivirus and this is Kaspersky Internet Security. This is a pretty popular antivirus. Um, I would say that uh, it's one that I've seen very, very often at my clients and uh, it is a well-known antivirus in general. So I tested Kaspersky and uh, first observation is that there's no junkware when you install no you know questions or things that are asked that you're not sure of and it's really straightforward install it uh, does not have any jugware or anything with it which is pretty cool my iCard test file which is creating a virus trying to save it on the computer immediate uh, reaction from the antivirus and it was removed so you don't even have the chance to click on it it's gone. A uh, really good detection of the download of a virus in a zip file immediately was blocked and immediately um, they told me look this website looks dangerous don't go there anymore. I really love that this was a great test. I'm a little sad I downloaded two my two standard pieces of software that are good software but that contain undesirable stuff in it. Not necessarily malware per se but not cool things and um, well it not only let me download but it didn't even say nothing when I wanted to install so I'm a little sad about that uh, it seems that the malware or the way it detects things uh, don't seem to detect or say that these are bad compared to say AVG internet security that immediately told me hey there's these two things in there you shouldn't install that so that's a that's sad and that's a big negative point I think in what I was trying and you know I, I, I was just so surprised that uh, that result that I actually did it again and tried in a different way even scanned one of the files and it said well no there's no problem here so it's not super cool that that doesn't detect the bad stuff and the downloaded software Processor usage is, uh, you know, pretty good, uh, about 2%, even less um, in general. It doesn't show up, you know, I mean, I'm going through my computer and it doesn't really show up that it's there. I haven't had any slowdowns or any problems. Internet speed is good, and that is really nice. Memory usage, 160 megabytes. It's a little high compared to many antivirus that I've used. But once again, you know, when we got eight, like I got eight gigs of RAM, it's not that much of a problem, but uh, it is still, you know, higher than the average. Uh, scanning my 2.3 gigabyte file, two minutes, 30 seconds, at least it seemed to really want to check everything, make sure that there's nothing wrong. I did like that. Has web extensions, so when you go to a web um, page or on Google to, uh, you know, test search for some stuff uh, you have this little add-on here on the top right that's the Kaspersky add-on and you have these little green Kaspersky things that tell you well okay this is cool or not and it actually even tells you well this website I'm not sure maybe we should run it in a sandbox mode or a, that, that I really liked also a uh, banking site was really nice immediately when I went to a banking site uh, and you can sh see it here if I go to bankofamerica.com it immediately switches browser to the protected browser from Kaspersky because it doesn't want you to be in the regular browser in case you're infected it protects you there and that's pretty good uh, I must say that's really really nice uh, good protection here, so uh, really, really nice. As uh, complete protection, even parental control here, which really, really is nice. And uh, if you look at the tools, it has network activity tools, firewall, everything is in here and manages, manages pretty much everything. There's privacy protection available. Uh, so it's, you know, really, really nice. It even controls ad access, uh, webcam access, and so on. So it's really, really nice antivirus I must say that uh, the only negative side and I'm really sad if it had detected the malware in my software that I downloaded uh, this would have been a 10 out of 10 
because it's just so great. Unfortunately, because it didn't detect the malware in my software, I will take out two points. So I'll put an eight out of 10. It's 80%, but it needs better control. Uh, that's for sure. Apart from that, the impact on startup is very, very low. I haven't uh, noticed a slowdown of my startup, slowdown of the computer. So uh, only problem that I see is unfortunately the malware stuff that I would really, really have wanted to have a better control over it with Kaspersky. But uh, it seems that it's difficult to have an antivirus that has everything. Um, you know, perfectly running and perfectly good. So Kaspersky Internet Security, um, not that bad. I give it a score of 8 out of 10. But uh, I can tell you, if it had detected the malware in my two pieces of software that I downloaded, it would have been a 10 out of 10. This would have been the best antivirus. Unfortunately, it's not. So um, not necessarily the best one to get. Uh, and I still give it an 8 because it has... Uh, other things that do compensate, including that, um, you know, the banking side being in sandbox mode so that you don't see anything. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything you want to know, let us know. Maybe I didn't test an antivirus you wanted to uh, have tested. Let me know and we'll try it. And thank you so much for following me on the channel. It's always nice to have your feedback and comments.